So now I'm offering a general reading and as always explore what resonates within you. So take what I say lightly and if something lands, explore it. And if it just doesn't feel a fit for you, dismiss it. And what I'm getting today is golden opportunity. It's your golden opportunity. And this can vary for all of us, whether it's taking that time to heal, see you clearly, and feel yourself anew, or whether it's really a jumping point for a new program, perhaps a deeper commitment in a relationship, deeper commitment to yourself, um, or other possibility that you've been exploring or dreaming about, whatever it is for you, it's a golden opportunity to begin anew. And you don't have to have all the answers. It's just about taking a step. And sometimes a step is like sitting down and feeling it out. What is the energy of this possibility? And what is blocking that possibility? And is it time to uh, reach out for some support, reach up for some support? And that might take some time to find the, the right practitioner for you um, to explore your energetic needs um, or find that right practitioner that's going to meet your cognitive needs to push past the resistance that you might be putting up. So. Imagine success is possible, that you're possible, your growth, your healing, and again, the opportunity. Have the Pagan Otherworlds deck, the Alice in Wonderland deck, and the Divine Muses Oracle. This is a really nice deck, the Divine Muses Oracle. It comes with a book that has a, a lot of information. And moving forward with the divination deck, hopefully that'll be out soon. So I'm working on the book that goes with that ebook that you can purchase separately from the deck or in partnership with the deck. So getting there. <laughs> When, the, when it feels right, you'll know when and how to respond. And it's about being in that present moment to feel that out and know when the timing is right for you so there's no pressure from the external. Notice why you might be putting pressure on yourself. Um, and if someone else has a set of expectations that have layered and filtered your truth, like look into your truth and your unique vision of life and your your contract here on the planet. Again, you don't have to have the answers. You have to take a step. I imagine that everything you need will be here to make it happen. Okay, is there confusion about the step you need to take or I feel like it's more like clutter of the mind of what's not in harmony, what's, what is not in alignment with your truth, whether that is someone else's filter. Um, Reparenting yourself, you begin to recognize what layers of thought and behavior are part of your parents' past. And if you've had um, different long-term relationships, marriages, then it is about looking at the filter that partners have put, placed on you. Um, consider the cultural lineage that you're from or the subculture that you are a part of and dismember the framework of confusion that clouds your mind from your own truth. Bottom deck energy, five, it's the five. Okay, next bottom deck energy, I just saw that, the, the ace. So, speaking of blockages, so whatever pattern is here in the emotional body, the, the mental body is kind of tied into that, but if we think about the emotional body, that's kind of wired in in a different layer than the thinking mind. And we can't rise above that in the thinking body. It's about stepping into the energetic possibility of not only your free will, your, your ability to discern and rise above. Five and seven kind of go together in my mind when it comes to um, to the wands energy. The five is, is like that you've really got to push through. And in this card, there's the red tent. And I think about like 
that pause, that motherly, that loving energy, that sisterhood at the soul level. And can you pause and find your home base to really reconnect with the foundation of your truth that will then give you six, the victory, seven, the courage to continue. So it's like Wednesday. I was just talking about the five with someone yesterday. I think of the five as like the Wednesday, like you're almost there to the weekend. <laughs> Not that we don't you know, live for today, but perhaps as you take this time to sit with you, to be with you, to be with the divine sense of you, your true contract, your true calling, that you will no longer block this loving, unconditional love that's here to come in and just overflow from the heavens above from you to you. Notice this sense of the emotional body with the one versus the seven here. It's like, what's what? what uh, I don't know. There's a new beginning for you as you dismember what's clouding your vision. And so what are you feeding yourself emotionally? It doesn't have to be the way it was. And a fresh new beginning is a, is a beautiful thing. Okay, so in the seven, I mean, here, there's this, this cord here that's into the earth, but notice it's like broken off, kind of like a stump. And it, it reminds me of this talk I listened to from Sarah, Sarah Jake Roberts. I believe I got her name correct. Apologize if that's not correct. But she, she goes in and her talk, um, get up, get up little girl. Um, and she's like, it's time to get up. And then she goes on like, I'm ready. I'm ready to, ready to go to war and pray for you, for your depression. I'm ready to go to war with this. Like I'm ready to tackle this head on this energy that you've been tied and bound to. And she, she does mention something about breaking it off. So perhaps there is some cord cutting that needs to happen for you, but you know best. Another thing is there is, there's a sense of the skeleton holding the castle. And I think about castle in the sky, it's like your true heaven, your, your true, true soul. It's like where you go with the divine. It's like going up to find your truth, going up to come home. And notice the skeleton is holding that. And skeleton, I, you know, I, 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 love, I like bones, <laughs> so nothing on, against that. But think about skeletons in the closet, how that might be trapping you. And that's not easy to, to, to head into. There's also, you know, I spoke to the, the red tent in this five, but there's also a set of green. So what's your green light and what's your pause? And knowing when to act, knowing what you need. So stone, st stone throw away. Maybe, maybe your achievement, your success is closer than you realize. To your dreams, eight of cup, follow your dreams and know like secrets might be illuminated here with all the energies, but eight of cups is about following through on your dreams. Dream work. Okay, explore in the night. You can make the request west before you go to bed for clarity for clearing so i would say go with one thing it makes it a little easier to um interpret your dreams um so taking some time before you go to bed unwind from your day so that you don't have that filter of like the day residue showing up in your dreams but you have what you need so um, and then it's a kind of about piecemealing the different dream fragments over, you know, a couple days to see clearly what it is you need. Oh, I felt that in my throat. So truth coming through in the dream, dream world or it, you know, there's a foundation there for you. Allow, allow the moon and the cycles to illuminate the way. Two of Swords discernment. So if there is a lack of clarity here in what what is your dream versus what's your reality that you're kind of bound to, 
taking that time in the dream world to rise above king of clubs i think a king of clubs is like this manager that sees the board sees the bigger picture and delegates so using resources energetic resources to get what you need to move ahead and i don't mean stomp on people i don't mean that i mean like connecting to the elements working with dreams, you know, grounding, getting out in nature, um, taking that nap, perhaps a supplement, um, a new, I don't need for a diet. <laughs> Dory's like, I'm on a diet. <laughs> I don't know that part in Nemo. <laughs> She's talking about diet. I'm um, sorry. Um, but whatever it is for you. Maybe it is about getting silly and not taking it so seriously, but allow it just to come through naturally for your success. And imagine it so, imagine success is a possibility. Anything else? The framework that you might have believed was your foundation might be rattled, which is why the confusion is coming in. So taking that look at what's yours that you no longer need to carry. The two of swords energy, two of spades is like back and forth. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You know. You know deep down inside when you clean house, what is your truth? What is your dream? What you need? Honor that. And that's where your true success and joy comes in. And you will feel the rebirth, the cleansing you need. fountain something about a water fountain like a wish come true perhaps so neater goats can come in and clean it up and this card is about setting those boundaries and, and cleaning it up for yourself bottom deck lattice of the soul bring in the light allow the light to break through and come in but sitting with that energy of light, sitting with and allow the illumination to come through for you and allow that to be your victory, your truth to shine through. And as you sit in the energetic space, learning how to discern and what steps to take and what's within arm's reach, that stone throw for you and what you need to cast out. Whatever it is you need to do to find clarity, even if it is to stand there on the beach and skip stones. All right, let the light in, all the way into the core, all the way into the bone, all the way into your structure. There's life there. I love bones, the idea of that bony matrix. It's like they're living, it's a foundation, it's a solid feeling part of your form, but it's also that part that brings light and life to the rest of your system. So allow that to come in for you. Do hope this served well. Sending lots of light and love. Setting them.